Alright, today's classroom. I have Doja out. Piece of rag. Just to prove that it wasn't a fluke, which have nothing to prove actually. But just giving him some exercise. So once again, this is a lot of area, and he's on the truck today. I didn't leave him at the house. Uh, so I took him out, done some other things with him, kind of burn him out a little bit, make him work when he's uh, a little tired and uncomfortable. So going to do the same thing with him, having to get a little more uh, room to go so this will be a straightaway nah might be too easy because he may be looking at me out of the crate so I just kind of want to get a little bit out of his sight well that's too much uh, we've done in the grass line before so let's tell you what that won't bother let's put it the foot of this little bleacher here so uh, because this is totally random, didn't have a screwdriver, so I used this ink pen. <clears throat> See that? Right. Right there. Cover it up a little so there's no visual cue. All right, we'll get him and see. We'll walk around this way so he doesn't necessarily track to it because we, I prefer my dogs to use strictly nose as far as air sending as opposed to tracking. Air sending and tracking goes together, but air sending uh, to me seems to be a more natural way uh, is when you you have to teach them and some some guys force train to footstep track and trail whereas if you just let them do it air and of course that may be the competition that they're competing in requires them to footstep track so get him out Here, come here. Good check. Soup. Soup. Good. Come here. Soup. Here. Soup. Uh oh, there we go. There we go. Nope. Show me. Down. Down. Good boy. See that? Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job, boy. Excellent job. Awesome. Awesome job, man. To all you 
guys out there. I just don't see you guys doing that sort of training. Come on. Good job. Good job, buddy. So, that's how we roll over here at K9 Mims in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, 